Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make a bass corset dress. Those are the corsets that are usually curved at the waistline. So these are examples of bass corsets. The waistline are not straight. So at the end of this tutorial, this is what we'll be achieving. That's our bass corset, the sleeves. It's, a, it's an inline dress actually. So you can see how beautiful this looks. Okay, so this is what we are achieving after our class. So kindly subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so that you get notified anytime we upload a new video. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make a bass corset dress. We will be building our cup actually. We will not be using a ready made cup for this. So let's get right into the tutorial. This is our basic body. We already constructed this. This is the chest line. This is the bust point. The under bust and the waist line. So this is the armhole curve. So this line right here is the bust pan, also known as the nipple to nipple. That's the measurement from one nipple to another. For this person, it's seven inches divided by two is three and a half. So we have the three and a half right here, and we've made that into a straight line. So the first thing I'm going to do is to take my dart one one inch on each side for on the under bust and also on the waistline and i'm going to make that into a straight line so i made that those that into a straight line like this and then i measured one a half inch this is my bust point i'm going to connect it to my bust point but i don't want it to be pointy so i'm not connecting it on the bust point exactly i'm just going down by half inch and then i'll connect it like this using my curved ruler okay so the next thing to do now is to take my under my ham hold that and to do that i'll be taking two inches so on my bust point i'll take one inch on one side and one inch on the other side and then i'm going to connect that also towards my bust point so i'll connect that to my bust point and not on my bust point exactly also i'll take half inch away from my bust point and then i'm going to connect it like this okay so i've joined this now this will also be going off as our dad so we've taken her to that now now I'm going to try to construct our bust cup this is going to have an ham hole it's not a tube dress so I'm going I'm going to be taking a little bit of my ham hole I'll take around three inches from here I think it's okay for me I just need a little of the ham hole here like this and then I need to measure the depth of my corset so I think from here, it's from up, a depth of 8 inches or 7.5 is okay for me. So if I'm working with a depth of 7.5, 7.5 is going to be right here. I'm going to connect that using a curve. I don't want it too sharp so that it will give me like a sweet art effect. I'm going to connect that to my arm up. If this is a tube dress, I don't need this part of the ham hole, so I'll just connect it straight to my chest line. So this is going to be my neckline for my corset. So now I'm going to take half inch. You can take either one inch, that is the, the mid middle of your bust, the midpoint between one bust to the other. So it can be either one or one and a half inches. For this person, I'm using one inch. So on fold, I'll take half inch like this i also take half inch on the bust point and i'm going to make that into a straight line so that is going to guide me when i'm drawing my bust cup that i don't want to enter into this half inch that i'm taking so i'm not going to enter into it when i'm drawing my bust cup so to draw my bust cup i'm just going to take my curve through line remember we made half inch up to the bust point area i'll just take my curve ruler and make a curve connecting from my bust point to my under bust like this you can also use your free hand if you can but if you have a curve a curve is better so once i have a place like this i'm going to draw my curve so one side of my corset is okay so before i do the next side i need to close up this dart and to close up this dart i need to finish up with my neckline first so here i need to add a dart here to tighten my bust so that it will not be open on the upper part i want it firm to the body so to tighten that place i'm going to be taking half half inch that on each side of the upper part of the bust so from my half inch that 
I'm going to measure one inch away from my bust point and then connect my dart to it. So all this is also going off as my bust tightening dart. Okay, now that I've removed a total of one inch here, I need to replace it back to my armhole area so that I will not have a short shortage of one inch on my across chest. So the one inch I've taken here, I'm just going to measure it from my arm or outwards like this I measure one inch and then extend my neckline curve to this point and then I'm going to connect it back to my arm hole so now I can cut off this paper so I will have smaller workspace to work with and I will be able to close this that so that I can complete my bust cup so before I completely close up my bust that I want to quickly show you something from our front and back bodies this is our back bodies the front and back body's waist is not usually the same because of this bust that. Remember we took 2 inches bust that here. So we have to hide this back. For these front bodies, I'm using a waist, a waist measurement, a half length measurement of 16 inches. Okay. And for the back bodies, I'm using a half length measurement of 14 inches. So by the time I close my 2 inches that, is going to go back to my normal 14 inches that I'm supposed to have for my half length measurements and I'll be able to sew my front and back bodies together so I just thought to show us that because by this time I cut off this bust that now it's going to rhyme up with this so that you won't run into any problems when you're drafting yours okay so now I'm going to cut off my bust that I'm going to cut off I can cut my my I'm already I can cut off my dart like this like this so I have one side of it ready I can also cut off the other side And see that we don't have any pointy edges there and that will not look nice okay so i have let me raise up the paper so that we will see it more possibly so i have both of them like this now i need to close my bust that <coughs> and to close that i need to slash this open Okay. Once I slice this open, it will not cut through. I'll just place it over like this so that I can close up my bust that. And closing the bust that will just open up a more bigger contour for you can see how much space we have here now. But once we close this like this, you can see how opened this place is. So using a masking tape, I'm going to hold this together with the tape. Okay, so I've cut out my bust that and I've closed it. So now to complete the other side of my cup, I'm just going to take this cup driller and then place it on my under bust and connect it to my arm hole, making sure it doesn't enter into my side seam. So I'll look for a place where I can get a perfect cuff like this and then I'm going to make my cuff. So now my cup is complete for my corset and I'm just going to cut this out. Remember we are making a vast corset here which normally have like a V shape around here. So complete that once our cup is cut out. So now that I've cut out my cup, I'm just going to place this on one side and then I'm going to close my dart here using my masking tape then I'll place this on another paper to complete my front bodies so I'm closing this dart now and then I'll take a fresh paper okay so now I've drained my half length to a fresh paper I held it with a masking tape and I redrew my waistline so that it's feasible so now it depends on how coffee you want your bass corset to be you can go 
between two or three inches for this tutorial i don't want it too coffee so i'm just going to go down by two inches from my waistline and using my cuff driller you can either make it a sharp fit or curved i don't want this too sharp so i'll be using the cuff side of my ruler to connect from my two inches to my true waistline so this has been connected now i'm just going to take my scissors and then i'm going to cut this out so this is now my new front bodies okay you can see it's not too sharp and it's not straight either it's just a little bit curvy on that side so now i'm going to take this to cut out my skirt part of the of the dress but before i do this i'll quickly go to, over to my back bodies so on my back body this is my zipper allowance the shaded part is my zipper allowance i went in by one inch here because i don't want it bulky when i put a zipper here it's just to tighten that place for me and then from that one inches i connected it to the, my upper part of my basic bodies and then from there i took one inch allowance for my zipper allowance okay so this is my bust pan line and on that line i'll be taking my half half inch that for my back that and then using my ruler i'll connect that to my chest line so that is my that measurement so this is my basic body's measure this is my back body's measurement with allowance this is the actual measurements and this is the allowance the allowance here is much because i use two inches allowance for the for the chest line and here this is three inches this is three inches because i'm taking away one inch that here so the one inch that i'm taking here i need to replace it back so two inches plus the one inches that that is what is making this to be three inches now to draw my neckline remember i took three inches from my front neck from my front ham hole so this is the three inches here you determine how deep you want your back neckline to be i think eight inches is fine for me so i have eight inches here and then using my ruler i'm going to connect it either in a coffee way or in a sharp way but i think i'll go with the coffee side so i'm just going to connect this to my sorry remember this is not my back so this is my actual back eight inches here so i'm going to connect this from my arm hole to my back bodies and my back is ready so i can cut this out now so i've cut my back bodies now i'm just going to cut off my back that also so the back that i've also been cut off so we have this as our back bodies and and this also as her front bodies so our back bodies is a normal it's not a basque it's not going to be having any curvy effect at the waistline so we're just going to leave it as a normal cut but for the front bodies this curvy effect that we have here have to, we have to replicate it in this case so that we'll be able to join it together so i'm just going to quickly demonstrate that with a paper now okay so now this is our skirt bodies i'm just using this for illustration purpose the one we're actually working with is an a-line dress but it's quite big so i just want to show us how to replicate our basque effect on our skirt part of the dress so now we've drafted our basic skirt bodies with our darts so now before i can replicate this i just need to close up my dart here like this okay now the dart is closed if you took the same allowance for if you use the same same allowance for both the waistline of the skirt and the basic body part, you should have equal measurements once you close your dart like this. So now I'm just going to place this on my matching the waistline together with each other like this, and then I'm going to trace out the curved part on my paper. Either you trace it out or you just cut it out once, like that. Once I trace it out. I'm going to cut this away from my skirt part okay so I'll cut this now so it will be easy for me to join it together like this so that is how you replicate the basque 
effect on the dress, skirt part of the dress. So now I'm just going to take this to my main fabric. I'll add the necessary allowance that I need to add. I'll add half inch around this half inch here if I'm going to cut it open. And again, it depends on the type of the amount of boning that you wish to introduce inside this. You can add as many as you can. You can have a bony running straight here. If you cut the center front open also, you can have a bony like that. You can have a bony running from the underbust to this side. You can have a bony running from here to here. You can also have a bony around this side. Depends on how much bony, how much you are willing to spend and how much structure you want on your corset. So you can have as many bony as possible to your corset so now I'll just take this to the sewing to the cutting table and then cut it on my main fabric and add necessary allowance to it then I'll bring it back to show us okay so I've cut this on my fabric I added allowance where it's needed I added five inch around the cup area on the main cup I added five inches around it also this is the back bodies so now I'm going to iron gum stay on the main fabrics just to hold it because this is a dull face material and on the cup area I'll hang on add wood wadding onto it so that I'll be able to form my cup. I've also cut the down part of the dress so this is the down part of the dress like I said it's an A-line dress you can see it's quite long so it's A-line and this is the upper part for the front but it's the curvy area that I'm going to sew to my half length okay so after holding the that i'm just going to sew this coffee area to my half length so i'm just going to take all this to the sewing machine now and start to sew okay so i've i've ironed i ironed soft word into this actually and i've already closed the that on my pattern you can see that there is no joining here because I don't want too much joinings around this. So for my boning, I'll be attaching boning to this. I just used a marker to mark the lines that my boning will be passing through. Not this place. This is the actual line. Okay, so once you do this on one side, you just fold this over like this and then you notch it so that it will guide you on where you are going to put it so that it will be equal on both sides. You can add as many boning as you wish to it. I just want four. So that's why I added it and I'm working with this red line bony, you can sew on it. So I'll just be placing this on the lines that I made. Okay, excuse me, okay. So I'll just be placing this on the line that I made and I'll be after, uh, I'll be leaving half inch up here and half inch down here. So that I'll be able to aim it. Remember I cannot turn on the bony, okay. So you just put your bony and sew it through where you want your bony to be. And also this is the back panel. I sewn it together. I actually cut the dots of the pack, pack panel separately. So I'll just iron this open like this and I'll be adding bony on the seam allowance. So I'll, be, I'll press this open and I'll iron bony to it. And also these are my bra cups. You can see how lovely they are. I actually placed the lace fabric on the doll face just to give it some glittering effects. And there is no ready-made cup inside this. I'm yet to even iron it and you can see how puffy this is standing on its own even without the ready-made crop so the pattern is just beautiful and once you follow it it will give you exactly what we have here so now after adding boning to this i'm just going to sew in my bra cups to their right places then i'll bring it back to show okay so now that i've ironed i've so i've Sewn regular boning to my main body. I've already sewn my regular boning to it. You can see the half inch that I left up was for me to be able to sew in my cup because I'll not be able to sew on the boning. So, this is the cup after installing it inside the boning. You can see how it looks like, and this is it on the other side. So you can see this is looking really beautiful already this is the back side of the corset so now the next thing i'll do everything i've done here i'm going to do to the lining also so this is the lining 
and I'm going to trim all of this off so that it can relax well for me then take it to the ironing table and iron it well so that it can lie really flat ironing helps a lot so try as much as possible to iron it and this is the back body as you can see I've ironed I've sorry I've sewn in regiline bony to the back piece also and this is what it looks like so the, the difference actually is that remember I said I closed my dart in here already you can see there is no sewing around this area but in the case of the back that we actually sew it before we had that regiline bony so this is the difference this is what effect it will give you when you sew it and this is the effects you will have without sewing it's actually more beautiful when you sew it but it's a lot of work because assuming we are cutting this off i have to cut all this open then add my seam allowance again before i cut it on fabric then sew everything together so if you don't mind you can actually do that because it's actually you can see this is the difference so this is it without sewing and this is it with sewing so you just choose the one that works perfectly for you and work with it okay so now the next thing i'm just going to do now is to close this up like this because i want to cut part of the upper part here i want to cut part of the upper part here and replace it with plain dull face fabric so i'm just going to fold it into two like this then i'm going to measure the part i want to cut out then i'll cut it on uh, the dull face then replace it back it with my allowance so you can see and remember when we were drafting it this is not a tube we had it our arm o so this is the arm o right here still here for us to fix our sleeve so now i'm just going to go and cut out the two two inches that i want to cut away then replace it with plain dull face fabric then i'll be able to turn everything with my lining before i join all this to the downside of the dress remember this is a dress and we still have an a line that we are going to be joining this half cut to okay so now i just measured two two inches downward i used my markers to hold it because this is on the wrong side and it's actually what they so it's not going to show so you should be very careful how you do this okay okay so i'm um, i just marked two inches downward like this after folding it using my marker and i connected it so that it will guide me when i want to cut it so i was able to use marker because this is actually wooden and it's not going to show on the other side so you should be careful when you are doing this okay so i'm just going to cut this off now and then i'll place it on a plain dull face fabric I'll use it to cut it out again, then I'll replace it by sewing it back to it. So that's basically what I'm doing. Remember to add your allowances. Okay, so now I've cut this off. This is what I cut off. Okay, this is what I cut off from it. And I've replaced it with a plain fabric and I ironed soft wadding on it to make it strong also. So now I'm just going to sew it back to this side like this. So I'm going to sew it back, then when I'm done with that, I'll be able to turn my main fabric with my lining. <coughs> Sorry, so now I've replaced it back, okay? See, I just sew it straight like this. <coughs> and then I'm going to notch it and also press it up so that I can relax very well. But this is what we have and it's looking really beautiful. <coughs> okay now that this is done i'm just going to take my lining part and then use it to turn it on the upper part like this and I'll also do the same for the back panel i'll take the part so this is the lining for the front panel i'll take it together like this and then i'm going to sew it to turn it and then for the back panel also i'll take the lining together and then i'm going to use it to turn it over like that then i'll bring in my skirt part of the dress and then i'll sew it so that i can couple everything together okay so now we've done all this i've sewn i've turned it with my lining so this is my lining right here and this is my main fabric so i moved it here because it's quite big now i'm going to sew our down part to it now so I'm going to sew the A-line part to the, to the front bodies now. So you can see the curve here.
for the basque effect like i said if you want it the effect lower for this i think i went by about two and a half inches or so you can go as deep as three inches and then connect back to your waistline okay so this is the full dress and this is the inline part of the dress so i'll just take this to the sewing machine now and then sew it together then i'm going to take the back bodies also just like this also the back uh, skirt part to the half length of the back bodies also then you can join it together to have a full dress okay so i've fixed my dress parts of the dress to the main bodies i've sewn it together i can see how it's lying flat so you need to do this i first took in my dart on my skirt before attaching it to my half length so you can see how beautiful this is and also on the dark i also fixed the back half length together like this and then i went ahead to attach my zipper so i installed my zipper the next thing i'm going to do now is just to put them together shape it so i'll just put them together right side facing the right side like this and then i'm going to take in my measurement here then shape it and then i'll fix my desired sleeve and our dress is done okay so this is the dress i've turned it out okay i've i've shaped it on the side so you can see this is our cup area this is our basque and this is the full dress okay it's an airline dress so like I said, I just added this sleeve to it, the off shoulder sleeve with gathers here at the center, at the midpoint and also on the um, shoulder area. So it's adjustable. So the way I made this, this sleeve actually is that I measured the length of, I think, 21 inches i measured a length a full length of 21 inches and the width is the width is 22 inches okay 21 inches length 22 inches width so on the shoulder area here i just measured 12 because i'll be gathering it so i need excess for it to be able to gather well then i'll make i'll determine the midpoint of this 21 divided by 2 will give me 10 and half. So on the midpoint, I'm going to run elastic stitch. Elastic, sorry, I'm going to sew. Is either you sew a casing for your elastic or you just sew your elastic by dragging it normally here for you to gather it. Here. And also on the hemline area, I'm going to run a stitch like this to, to get to create a casing for my elastic and then I'm going to pass elastic around this. So basically it's a simple sleeve. That's how I made the sleeve. And after measuring the 12 inches here, I just took my armhole area here and I placed it here to do my arm off. Okay, I hope can, okay, okay. So after the 12 inches I measured like this unfold, I just placed my armhole here and used this to do my armhole cuff. And then I just stopped this then I slanted it to meet my M line like this. So that was like Made it. so after this i'll just do a casing on the shoulder area like this and then pass my elastic around it on the midpoint also i'll run elastic around it so that it will give me something like this on the shoulder area i'll have this on the midpoint area i'm going to have this elastic and on the hemline also i have this elastic to give me something this puffy Okay, so you can actually use any sleeve you want, but I think I prefer this sleeve. That is why I'm using this for this dress. Okay, so the sleeves, the both sleeves have been attached now. So this is our full dress. You can see how beautiful it is. So give this a try and let's see what you come up with. Kindly like, comment, and subscribe to our channel if you have not done so, so that I get notification anytime we upload new amazing things. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.